Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to thank you guys for all the subscriptions. Today's video is going to be on Scriabin's Mystic Chord. Real interesting chord. I'll show you how to play it on guitar and explain how to use it. And let me know if there's any uh, videos you want. I was thinking about maybe doing a lick of the day. Um, maybe like uh, ancient guitar secrets. Well, music secrets maybe. Uh, more dog videos, joke videos, live videos, cover videos, um, lesson videos. It seems like you like when I teach you the songs and stuff too. So maybe I'll do some of that. Uh, let me know if there's any videos you want. Um, and uh, yeah, I just want to say I appreciate it. It seems like 98% of you are not subscribed um, and almost all of you are m male except for a few percent. Luckily the dog videos are getting some more females. I don't know if I should do a video without my shirt or something. So let me explain to you about this chord. It's basically, that's how you play it. I'll walk you through it. Maybe I'll put a, put a tab here. If you can read music, check this out there. I'll put it there too. There it is. So you can learn how to play it if you want. The notes are uh, C, F sharp, E flat, E, A, D. Um, on the guitar, it's a low E string. It's 8th fret, then ninth fret on the A, 8th fret on the D, ninth fret on the G, 10th fret on the B, 10th fret on the high E. I use this chord in a song of mine called Impending Doom. Uh, in that little harp thing I do. Maybe I'll show you that in, a, in another video. But, very interesting chord. This chord is basically a C7, C7 chord with a sharp 11, uh, 13 and a 9 in there, so it's basically C13 sharp 11. So basically a C9 chord with the uh, sharp 11 and a 13. So basically uh, C13 sharp 11, you probably remember from fourth grade music class that uh, C dominant 7 with a 9 and a 13 and a sharp 11 is uh, with a tritone sub is bitonal to an F sharp dominant 7 sharp 9 flat 13. So you could look at it with either root note. Uh, if you're looking at what scale to play on that, it's going to be a C Lydian dominant is what that is called. Um, from the F sharp's perspective, it's a F sharp super low Uh Which I think a lot of you kids are calling F sharp altered. So over that, that chord, that's what you basically play. So. And you basically can make riffs with that chord or arpeggiate or kind of strum it, and then you use those notes to create melody lines. But quick thing about that chord is uh, Alexander Skrivan was a Russian composer, and he learned this uh, chord uh, after studying the Theosophical uh, book, uh, The Secret Doctrine by Madame Blavatsky. Uh, he was very into the Theosophical Society, which is... Um, uh, kind of a still an organization that uh, practices theosophy, which is, is a mixture of a bunch of religions, I guess. Um, kind of scary magic stuff in a weird way. So this chord can cre create a lot of things. He used it in, um, I, I believe it's called Prometheus. He was in a cult that uh, was a, like a theosophical cult that was a cult to, based on uh, Prometheus, I guess, is a Promethean cult. Um, which it's a rumor, I guess is what it was, but he had synesthesia, which is some sort of chromesthesia, which is something where you're able to see colors from each of the notes. Um, so if you hear a sound, you could hear, uh, or you'll see a color, or maybe you see a color and you can hear. So he was basically hearing the, the colors and seeing the sounds. Um, and he made a chart, why don't I put it, why don't I put it, I'll put it here. He made a chart where he put a color for each note of the circle of fifths. There have been, in a lot of books, there have been a lot of methods on this. We, whether you start with A is the first note and is red, and you just go up the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or whether you start with C as the first note, and you make C red, and it follows the, mm, the spectrum of the rainbow, like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet for A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But let's keep in mind that A should be 
mm, maybe G sharp because it seems like the notes got raised. Um, if you want to check this out, I have a map of this in my book, Guitar in Theory and Practice. Um, I showed this to Uli John Roth, and uh, he agreed that the notes were the same colors as they are in my book. But it's interesting, uh, he won, when you look at Alexander Scriabin as the Russian composer, he wanted to create uh, his performances where all the colors would relate to the sounds and be the proper color. Um, but that's it, that's his chord. It's called the Mystic Chord. And we talked about how, how, to, how to play it, what to use it. Check out Impending Doom off of Music for the New Aeon, uh, where I use this chord in a, in a song. Um, and Alexander Scriven, a uh, composer, a Russian composer, you could look more into him. Uh, again, like all composers and musicians, um, mostly. Uh, he died, his death was pretty sus. Um, I think he died of a pimple. But I don't believe he was in any sort of Masonic group or was in any sort of, uh, had any sort of spiritual teacher at the time. Uh, so uh, who knows what was, what was going on there. It's pretty interesting, but uh, he probably would have come up like Mozart and a lot of these other guys. He probably would have come up with uh, quite a bit more. So here's that chord. And remember uh, that you could play C, Lydian, Dominant. Uh, over that chord. Uh, thanks again for the subscriptions and uh, take care of yourself.